it low. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Through the middle, through the middle. Through the middle. Through the middle, right, right. There you go. That voice you hear over the radio belongs to Bob Perona, spotter for IndyCar driver James Hinchcliffe. With his sole job being to watch James's back, it's thanks to spotters like him that drivers tearing down the track at 200 miles per hour can avoid some of the biggest disasters. So the cars are so small and they're going so fast, it's helpful to have an eye in the sky. As a spotter, you talk in terms of car lengths, typically. So if you hear a spotter say, clear by two or by two or two back, that means they're two car lengths back. You try to paint a picture for them, you know, five back, four back, going to be looking inside, going to be looking outside. Ray Hall coming strong on the outside, outside. All right, hang in there. These cars are, are not designed with a blind spot in mind and visibility. They're designed to go fast. Even though you're the spotter, very rarely are you ever looking at his car directly. Most of the time it's spent looking behind their head. You're constantly scanning behind the driver to make sure there's no threat coming. Then you merely start scanning ahead. And you're scanning ahead looking for things like crashes, looking for potential debris on the racetrack, a car that's way off the pace and going super slow, anything that looks out of the ordinary. So it's this constant scan between behind the driver and ahead of the driver. But just like in any stressful job, mistakes are bound to happen, no matter who you are. Right. Now, there's a mistake that every spotter's made, it happens, uh, especially when you have cars that look kind of the same color. You inevitably talk to the wrong guy, right? I, I, I've heard stories of hopping the radio and saying, you know, inside, inside, and the guy comes back on, on the radio and says, I'm in pit lane, right? And they, they had the wrong car from, from, far, from far away. A prime example of just how important spotters can be to a driver's safety came in 2019's Indy 500. On lap 176, driver James Hinchcliffe managed to barely avoid becoming part of a massive crash, thanks to veteran spotter Bob Perona. It's late in the race, turn three, James sees the smoke. Uh, on the radio, all you hear is, stop, 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 stop. And then this brilliant call from Bob, and I don't know how he did it, but he says, through the middle, through the middle, through the middle, through the middle, right, right, there you go. The brakes uh, on an oval car, they get really cool because you don't need them. You're just, you're cruising around trying to go as fast as you can. You don't worry about the little thing like brake. After a few laps of green flag racing, uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot of brake grab there until they heat back up. So that's why he's like, stop it. Just try to slow it down as much as you can. There's cars all over the track. And then he sees that, that window of daylight where he's like, basically send it through the middle. And James and Bob were, were on the same page there. That's, I love watching that clip. However, there are plenty of times where a loud, active spotter is the last thing a driver needs. For instance, a neck-and-neck -neck situation during the final laps, like what Alex Rossi and Simon Paginot found themselves in during the 2019 Indy 500. What do you say in the last two laps when you're neck-and-neck -neck with a guy like that? A Hail Mary? Nothing? Like at that point, he's got it under control. I think the biggest role you can play in, in this instance is just the calm demeanor. He's already got enough stress. He doesn't need you going, oh, inside, inside, inside. You have to be as professional, as calm as possible. That calming voice amidst times of chaos is only gonna help the situation. The biggest takeaway that I think deserves to be said about spotters is that the spotters are just a tool for the driver. Just like the weight jacker and the steering wheel adjustments and the anti-roll bars in the car, those are tools the driver has in the cockpit. Well, the, the spotter is just another tool outside of the car. And each one will tailor that spotter to their needs. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, subscribe for more just like it. And let us know what odd jobs in motorsports you want to see us cover next in the comments below.